How is everybody tonight? Good? You ready to have some fun? Sometimes it's easier for me to read the phone than it is the computer. Hi Donna, how are you? Give everybody a minute or two to jump on and then we'll get started. I'm going to be working with this tonight, this Loop It yarn. I got it at Michael's. They had it marked down the pastel colors to $1.97, which I thought, oh, thank you, which I thought was an amazing, amazing deal. So what I've done, I've taken the Dollar Tree Christmas tree and I'm removing all the stuff from it. So all we will need is the frame. You've seen them at the Dollar Tree, right? Oh no, nobody wants snow. Hi Lisa. All right, let me show you what one of the trees looks like. Now, believe it or not, their frames all have different colors. Okay, you see how the red frame is kind of like a, a muddy brown in color. The green frame is green. The gold frame is like a, it's a different kind of green. So, if you're planning on using these, grab the tree that's closest to your color. With all the wrapping we're going to do, um, you're not going to see the frame, so you don't have to worry about covering it up. I just thought it would make it easier on everybody. All right. If any of you ever worked with this yarn, the loop yarn, loopy, we've gone loopy. We're supposed to get snow tomorrow. So anyhow, let me see. I have a set of lights left over from Halloween and these are purple. Even though they don't look purple, they're purple. So what I'm gonna do, it's probably gonna make it difficult, but I'm gonna zip tie some of these lights in this tree before I wrap it because I did wrap one and it was much harder to go back and attach the lights to it. I could put it on the outside but I prefer, hi Joy, Wilhelmina, how are you? So glad you can make it. So we're going to take some zip ties and we're going to zip tie these lights into the tree, okay? Again, this was a leftover from Halloween. These are purple and I'm using the pink yarn. I'm hoping I can zip tie them in here. Thank you. I appreciate it, Joy. And Joy, if you see Carla pop on, she should be able to tell you just how to make sure you're on the call tonight. There should be instructions in the group, but if they're not, we'll help you get on. Hi, Ann. Okay, I'm trying to zip tie these lights on the inside of the tree. I think I have better control of them when I do it this way. They may end up in my way, but so be it. It's a lot easier to do it before you have the yarn on anyhow. That might be the one. 
If not, I'll be able to touch base with you. Like I said, if Carla's not on, I'll touch base with you before the call. These purple lights look so cute peeking through the pink yarn. Yeah, that's the number. You have to go to zoom.com, but you may have to sign up there first. And once you're signed up, you just come in and um, join a meeting, and then you would type the number along with the um, password, which is always the same. So we're putting our lights on our loop it tree. So far, I have a dollar, a dollar, and a dollar ninety seven. So it's an inexpensive little tree for any little girl's room because we've gone with the ballerina theme. Okay, the tree form Anne is from the Dollar Tree. We uh, we took all the tinsel off of it. I can show you one. The red ones have a reddish frame. The green ones have a green frame. The gold ones have like a dark gray frame. When we get done, you're not going to see the frame, so it really doesn't matter what the color is inside. So, aw, thanks, Wilmina. Your sweetheart, I miss ya. Y'all saw my carolers? Didn't they turn out cute? I am having so much fun with them. And I know we have some veterans on here tonight, so we want to thank them for their service. It's easier to decorate it before you start putting the loops on. If I don't see your question, I will go back over. Are you on your phone, Dawn? That's what happens to me when I'm on my end, and I'm usually on my end when you guys are live, trying to watch you and tequila at the same time, and it doesn't allow me to share. Okay, we got one more after this one. Oh, okay. Well, Amina, your lupit le wreaths were really pretty. We're going to go loopy and then we're going to jack it up. That's the plan. 
these, again, were purpleites left over from Halloween, but the way they shine through the pink is really pretty. All right. So, it's probably going to get in my way now, but... All right, so the... Can you guys all see, or should I zoom in some? Why don't I zoom in some and give you a, a closer look? You're welcome, hi. Come on. Okay. How's that? Yep, we're going to jack it up. All right. The object to working with the loop it yarn is to keep it all laying flat. See how this is up? You want to make sure that you flip it down. So you want a, a nice clean layer just like that, all the way around. All right. So we're going to keep. We're going to keep. Um, we're going to glue. We're not going to glue every everywhere. We're just going to glue in certain spots, and it's just to keep it in place. So see how I'm doing this. So you want all your your loops to hang down and this will not take a whole a whole packet of of the loop it yarn so you will have some left over so to do one tree you need one now these are from Michaels this weekend and they were a dollar 97 on sale all their pastels this would even look cute in a baby's room. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna make sure all our loops are hanging downward. Okay, and we're gonna glue every so often just to keep it in place. It just makes for a really cute little tree. stubborn loop here. That one's a little misshapen, but we'll hide it. What's nice about this is if you think you're seeing frame, by the time you get your next layer there, you're, it's going to disappear. So you need to start at the bottom. Now in the beginning I try to, to do each each um, little joint. Now we're going to start going up because we're going around. The base Cheryl is a Dollar Tree Christmas tree frame. We took the tinsel off. Okay. And we mounted some Dollar Tree Halloween lights in there. Now see, I'm starting my next layer, so I'm staying kind of close to this layer, but you see how it's just like peeking out from underneath? Okay. So you just got to keep making sure that all your loops are pointed downward. Downward dog. Now that I have some of my, my um, group members on here, if you could answer some of the questions, if you know the answers to, I'd really appreciate it. Well, happy birthday. Again, you don't have to do every little section, but I find that when I go to put the ornaments on, if I have the sections pretty much um, tight or taut, um, when I hang the um, ornaments on, it really supports them. Because my ornaments are going to be hanging from the loops 
They're not going to be hanging from the frame. Okay, so you see how we're doing? Like I said, by the time I get done, you're not going to see the frame at all. It's just the key is you got to keep flipping those pieces downward. And it's nice because it's got like little nubs on this frame. So it's kind of nice because it kind of holds them in place too. This is actually a yarn that you're supposed to be able to knit without using knitting needles. You're just supposed to work your fingers through the loops. Something I guess I'm gonna have to try. making sure all my layers are downward. I know in the beginning it seems like it's taken forever, but this is the widest part of the base. So, Yarn is so soft. If it were a blanket, I'd just crawl right up and take a nap. trying to do this so you can see it, but at the same time, I have to see what I'm doing from this end, too. Just put a little dab. And I try to put it, pull it tighter so you have your two here and one in the middle. That's what really makes it full. <clears throat> yes. Actually, this is going to be a ballerina tree, and I have the stuff to make a unicorn one, which I probably won't have time to do that on the live, but I can always add a picture. Yes, Jackie, it is loop yarn. We're using a Dollar Tree frame and loop yarn. And we're just wrapping it around, but you have to keep making sure that your loops are going in the downward direction. Because you'll see this, this yarn has a mind of its own. See how some loops are up and some are down? You have to twist them and make sure they're going downward. And like I said, I try to work it so you have, it goes in the middle of the one below it can't always get it that way, but I try. And we already went ahead and wrapped a set of lights inside using zip ties to hold it in place. I don't know if you can see it. That's where they are. little nubs here that you can rest your yarn on. Compared to the witch's hat, these are really easy to take apart. It does not seem like they have them secured like the witch's hat one, but so I already did one in white. 
then I did do one already in pink. Don't they turn out nice? And like I said, the frame is only a dollar. The yarn was on sale at Michael's for $1.97. And the light set was a dollar. So right now we only have a dollar, a dollar, and so was that four ninety seven? No, three ninety seven. Hello, Janet. Y'all. They really are cute. But you gotta keep turning it and making sure that all your loops are pointed down because they, they do not go down on their own. So you have to make a conscious effort to layer them and make them head in the downward direction. And you will not use a whole, a whole roll, I guess, skein of, of the loopy. We're going loopy and jacking it up. Yeah, that's a cute idea. be able to see some of the lights but see how they shine through here it just gives it that little like snow covered look I just wish this glue wasn't so stringy looks like there's a million cobwebs inside there right now made these on the weekend and I left them in the kitchen on the, the bar and my husband saw them and he complimented me on them. He said, they look like little Christmas trees. That doesn't happen very often. Like I said, you don't have to glue every section, but I kind of like to because I made some Christmas ornaments for this tree today, and I wasn't sure how I was going to secure them to the tree, but I, I used um, a real pretty rope. Thank you. And I'm going to tie them on the loops. So I thought if I make sure that these are secure to the frame all the way around, that when I tie them on there, it should be able to handle. And they don't weigh a whole lot. But I thought you'd want to see one made and then give you some ideas for decorating it. This is going to be for a little girl's room. Nice little night light kind of tree. My granddaughter is coming in two weeks. And she is going to flip if she sees it. So I'm hoping that I can get her to come on one of my lives. She is just a sweetheart. And I don't know where you are, but it's hot where I am. We've got the coal stove going. And it gets hot. Ugh. 
Don't misunderstand me. I like the heat. But it's really hot. Can you see it taking shape now? I mean, isn't that adorable? Wouldn't this be cute in a baby's room? Baby's first Christmas? Oh my gosh, that would be so cute. All they had were the pastel colors. I did get like a pastel green and I got a purple. See, as I get up close to the top, I can hit three in a row. sure your loops are downward. Now and then you hit a stubborn loop, doesn't want to go down. There you go. Might need a lot for that one though, Donna. We're up to the last of the brackets. But I'll still be able to glue and attach it to the little like nubs. Can you see them? I'm sorry, I know this is like really repetitious. you're seeing it start to finish. one for my mother-in-law's room in the in the residence that she lives in. I think that would be really cute too. Festive. Getting close to the top. How long have we been at this? Probably not too long. I'm not very time consuming. Just repetitious. thought it'd be cute like if I took like one of the layers off of this so you make like a, a taller one and a, and a shorter one you know and group them I think that would be cute they don't all have to be the same size and that way you could use up some of the leftover loopy there's one company online it sells it in red, white, and green. I was 
sell it on Amazon, but you have to um, pay shipping. So, but I thought that was a pretty color. And when I get to the top, I use the top notch that's here to just bring it down. if you could find your way through you could just bring it right um, down through so there's like your center piece up there that holds it too so I'm just going to glue it to the top of that See, you got quite a bit left over. So if you had, if you took one of these apart and made it smaller, like chopped off this bottom section, then you'd have like a smaller one and a larger one. And you can make a grouping. All the stringy glue off of it. We'll start jacking this up. I think that's good. And like I said, you can just move your loops if you see any holes. If you found a big hole, you could always just take one of these loops off and glue it in there. All right. Now, I found this at Michael's. This was a ballerina. So I'm gonna work her down inside the tree. She's actually gonna be the treetop. This is where I had trouble with the other tree, but I did finally figure it out. And it did go down in. So there, she's gonna be the treetop. Okay. That's our treetop. Now, I have an embroidery machine. So what I did was I made a bunch of ornaments. These are little ballerina slippers. And then I have pink, white, and purple light bulbs. So we're just going to tie these all over the tree. And then um, there was something else I was going to do to it. No, I don't know where it is. I could, if we wanted, I have some white tinsel tie. And I thought that would make like a pretty garland around the tree. actually hook it to the stand itself, to the tree itself on the inside. There we go. So I think I'll just do that. I'll just kind of twirl this around. I don't want to pull it tight because I don't want it taking the tree and mushing it. So it's just going to gently be placed on it. No problem, Susan. Thank you, Patricia. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to like this on here, but we're going to try it, and if I don't, I can take it off. something that will be glued. Let's 
just trying to make it even so it looks right. just like I said attach it to the frame so it stays in place because I can bend it around that kind of the colors in this tinsel kind of go with the ornaments so there it is with the tinsel on it So, like I said, I made these little ornaments on my embroidery machine. They're made out of vinyl. And I, I poked a hole in them. So I thought it'd be cute just to tie them to the tree. And again, I'm just using the loops to do that. Ballet slippers. Let's put some lights on this sucker and jack this up. I have pink and purple roping. Because I thought if you use hooks, ornament hooks, you really they won't look right on the looping. I thought the tree, the tie would give it a cute contrast. And I made several. I may not use them all, but that's okay. Hello, Nikki. Don't be sending that stuff our way. It's supposed to start tomorrow morning at 5.30. We don't want it. Okay. So... want to glue it on so this is the next best thing oh no Susan keep it your way we don't want it please I got Yorkies and they don't like snow <laughs> really hard to find miniature ornaments so that's why I made my own Bit yarn from Michaels, and it was on sale this weekend for a dollar ninety seven. They only had the pastel colors, they didn't 
have anything like, you know, a bright red or green. So. Um, Angel was purchased from Michael's also. They had all their stuff really um, marked down this weekend. These are in the hoop designs, the vinyl, where you do it right in your hoop on your machine. sure what you mean. So I am tying them on like a bow. the loop it yarn you're welcome to tie it on any way you like I wanted it to look like a Christmas tree and I think I've succeeded in that like I said it's really hard finding hello Cassandra it's really hard finding miniature ornaments, you know, not easy to come by, especially in these colors. So, we did this. using the Dollar Tree Christmas frame with the Loop It yarn. Hard. 
signature ones, you get them where another one hasn't been. Upstairs, so I don't think I want to add those. I don't like those. I need some white balls, so I have these. I can put these on it. Actually, I could use all these. Yeah, that's what it needed. And these are nice because it just has the wire on them and you can just bend it right onto the loop. are jacking this up. Wires too short.
are these snowball ones. I like those better than I like the clear ones. I'm not liking the clear ones on there. They don't do it justice. Hi, Maggie. How are you? Everything on here is not real heavy, so it's not like weighing the tree down, which is nice. It's the perfect um, weight for this. Turn the lights on. Oh no. Can you see the lights in there? Geraldine, we took a Dollar Tree Christmas tree and removed all the tinsel and we totally looped it with the looped it yarn and we put purple lights inside. I made miniature. Um, ornaments for it. We've got ballerina shoes and pink and purple and white light bulbs that I made out of vinyl. Pull it up closer so you can see it. Wait, see if we can get it so you can see it better. There. I don't think you can see the shimmer. Let me see if I can turn this light off. But it's got a little purple shimmer underneath from the purple lights that we added inside. But there you go, little ballerina tree. Isn't that cute? Now this one, I haven't decided what that's going to be yet. Um, this 
one I'm working on, it's probably going to be like a unicorn. And then I found this garland that I can use to go with it. And this was from the Dollar Tree, or Big Lots. So I thought that was cute. And the unicorn's going to be up top. I'm going to jack him up. I don't like him the way he is. So. And then they had, which I don't have it down here, they had a green, and it was the pastel green. So, but I got enough left that I could cut this down and make a shorter one. And like I said, this was real easy to take off. I have a string light here too left over from Halloween from the Dollar Tree. Here is what we did in our private group last week. We made these little um, floral or flower princesses. They're ornaments. That's made out of a petal flower. This is made out of a flower also. Can you see it better? Put it closer. This I actually took two flowers apart and layered them. Then this one, this seems to be the favorite, <laughs> the purple one. But that's what we made in our private group last Friday night. And then here are my carolers that I made this weekend. This was number one. This was number two. Let me put this one down. And then there is number three. Are y'all still with me? You're not sleeping, are you? Our private group, we have eight designers. And we meet Monday nights and Friday nights. We have a one-on-one, -on -one or a, a Zoom call, so you can talk to us face-to-face. -face. Not like you are here, where we're talking through the computer. Runs $19.95 a month. And boy, do we have the, the stuff. Like this was from our last one that we that I did. We made decals to put on stuff. No questions? Oh no. Alright guys, I guess that's it. I'll go back. If I didn't answer any of your questions, I will go back and look through and um, answer any that I didn't answer on the live. And if you make one of these trees, I'd love to see it. Send me a picture. I want to see how I inspired you. Okay. 
All right, guys, you have a great night, and thanks for stopping in and sharing. If you want to be notified when I go live, type in Get Started, then my bot will send you a message, and just put like, and you're, you're in, you're started. Okay, thanks. Don put a link to our group in there. Don's one of the designers. So, we'll see. We'll talk to y'all later. Remember, I go live on Wednesday at um, 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. All right, guys. Have a great night, and thank you. Sure.